there's nothing wrong with my partner. Uh, we came to an agreement that to keep this activity alive, we must slow down and allow others to finish ahead. <laughs> Um, we did overlook two clues that were clueless. Um, <laughs> and um, I think when it comes to the climbing part, it just takes too long and you kind of lose ground when other people are ahead of you and you've got to wait until, you know, others have to climb up who is actually struggling because the legs hurting or the elbow or something like that. So I think we need to pick up a new strategy when it comes to the climbing. Maybe we could crawl through something next time. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll say my biggest challenge or my team's biggest challenge would be the fish charter. Yeah. That was mind ever matter for real. I took my time. Um, the officials that were there were like, look at her, she's just calm. I really had to take my time because if I went any faster, it would all came up. Uh, just more than anything, it's been a pleasure doing this with my son. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't have too much problem with any of the clues. The only problem we had was blocks. We were thinking squares as opposed to blocks. Uh, I didn't have any help. Oh yes, I'm sorry, running from bulls here. If, if we could get a little trolley next time from Bulls here to Union Square, I'm on, I'm on point, but they have run it, I don't think I'll be able to do that next year. Yes. Daddy just started power walking. I was like, Daddy, come on, we gotta keep going. And it's like, uh, I can't make it, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah. TV, don't say that. <laughs> I finished that race really quickly. He was the one that was having trouble. Yep. But yeah, overall, we had a lot of fun. I'm glad I did this with my daddy once again, and we enjoyed it. We'd definitely be back next year there. Yeah. Finally, we went up to the right side of National Stadium, which was the best side. <laughs> yeah. And search for hours seemed like for this dog on little marble. And I can't see any of you down there right now because these are prescription sheds. There you go. So that's the problem I have with this marble. And the fish charter. I said, right, I'm sorry. I'm not drinking it. I, I saw the three ingredients. I said, absolutely not. You'll have to drink it. Sorry. But other than that, I, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. To tell you the truth, I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I couldn't have figured out a way how to cheat in this game. Um, we almost ate the clue. We left the receipt behind. <laughs> and that bull, I thought it was a car, so he was heading up by Kevin O'Reilly. <laughs> so needless to say, I did not enjoy myself. <laughs> but I will come back next time. <laughs> Family, come on, let's bring it up. Here we go. I just have to take part of the blame, you know. <laughs> She's the eldest, so I let her take the lead. She's been here before. Um, um, the challenging part for me was probably um, the cups. You know, I was disappointed in that. You know, working in the construction field, I should have done a better job. You know, so I had to take that. That's where we lost ground. And after that, it was just hard to hard to catch up. You know. Uh, I just want to say, I enjoyed doing it with my brother. Um, he surprised me. <laughs> I thought I was going to be leading the way, but he led the way most times. And I look forward to doing it with him again next year. Okay. Uh, I just want to. Uh... Sometimes you just hear things on the slide and a gentleman came up, the first, second person that came up and he said something that made this day worth it. And this gentleman was the first cross the finish line. And when he came up to take the mic, he mumbled to himself and he said, you know what, it was a great day. I know I crossed the line first, but I don't know if I am first. And with that attitude and that response, that's what today is about. He was here for the enjoyment and for the competition. Whether he came first, second, or third, I think you're fourth, by the way, but it didn't matter to him. He just, he enjoyed it, and that's just so nice to hear because his daughter and him, I think, done a wonderful job, 
And on saying that, let's get to who really came first and all the rest of it. I, I just want to start, uh, before we start these uh, celebrations, I just want to once again thank, because without the organizers, Ms. Parford and her, her committee and her team and everybody working together, uh, you know, I am, I am blessed that she is a part of my family. I'm also blessed that 90% of this peop the people that's in this room has treated me like family. Coming up for the goodie bags in 15th place with a time of, uh, they came in at 236 with 1,500 points is Keitha Hudson and Camelia Smith. I will say that uh, 15th place does not uh, describe the two ladies that just came up here, and I know them both, and they are winners no matter what. Okay. In, in 14th place, I came in at two, two, 206, they came in. 216. 216, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't have glasses on here. And their uh, point um, average was um, team number 33. The, points was 1,500, uh, and that is Rydell Smith, Simons, and Vanessa Turner. Okay, in 13th place, they came in at 221, team number 36, we have 1,700 points, and the names are Dwayne Trot and Tracy Trot. In 12th place, coming up for the goodie bag, team number 41. Came, uh, they came in at 155 with a total of 1,700 points. Then, Shanette Smith and Sean Smith. Okay, these are what was starting at the prizes from 11th and up. And in the 11th place, with a time of, they came in at 219, the total points was 2300. Team number 34, names are Raquel Knight and Shanika Chikimo Turner. Okay, and their prize would be movie tickets <laughs> to see the amazing, amazing race. Yes. <laughs> okay, in 10th place, they came in at 154. They have 2,800 points. Team number 17, oh. Evans and Carla Poffitt. And they won, uh, we're, going to, we're coming into a rainy season, so we give them a couple of umbrellas here. And that's 10th place. Okay, in ninth place, moving right along in ninth place. We have, the team came in at 146. They had 2,800 points. 
the team number 35 Sage Robinson and Shaiwan Lee and they're going to receive lunch vouchers the lunch card on front street Team number eight. No, in eighth place, I think we want to say. They came in at 145. The total point score was 3,000. They were team number 18. And the names are Nina Ware and Ashante Herdora. And their gift certificate is a gift certificate from Marion's Jewelry, two diamond bracelets. No diamonds are in the bracelets, but. In seventh place, we're getting to the real big prizes now. Uh, they came in at 202. The total score on um, points was 4,600. Team number 26, Danielle Reyna and Ebony Burgess. And they've won iron. As the young folks, we're teaching them how to iron, so they got some irons coming their way. There we go. Uh, for those of you that witnessed what just went on, uh, Nina usually comes to these races not to collect one prize, but more. <laughs> she usually gives hers away, but she collects anything that's given away. Here we go. In sixth place, came in at 135, total points, 5,200. Team number 38, Jason Simon. <laughs> And Chad Thompson. Oh, I understand this was last year's winners. <laughs> and they win some gas vouchers. We know gas expansion. Uh, coal, SO, SO and coal. We'll get them to you, okay? Unfortunately, to get here today, we are a little short of gas, so we needed to use the vultures, but we're going to get you some new ones. Yeah, those are so last year's winners. Okay, in fifth place, we have, they came in at 135, total points, 6,200. The team number, 37. And the names are Gina Benjamin and Janelle Smith. And they're going to win some barbecues because they both cook very well. So why don't give them some barbecues? Okay, we're moving on to fourth place. In fourth place, came in at 137. I'm sorry, came in at 140. What's this? That's fourth place. 137. The, this one was, yeah. 7,300 is the total points. Team number 39. Andrew Edwards and Shane Robinson. And they have two wee fits, so they can be ready for next year. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's going to cost you. To, 
That's going to cost you the refits to fix that now. Okay, in third place, we have a time they came in. Check the on time was 1.42. The total Sorry, no, 1.40. 1.40. <laughs> uh, let, yeah, let's give them that two minutes back. 1.40, the total score was, points was 7,900. Team number 21. And right now, son. And they're winning travel vouchers. Travel vouchers. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, now listen. Oh, no, no, hold on. Well, finish that was third. Okay, uh, now understand when we told you this from the beginning that this was strictly a point system. So whoever got the most points didn't necessarily win in this case because you're going to hear points similar. But I would like to have Mr. Robert um, Robinson, family up, and. I'm sorry, Braun, family up, and Smith. Can you, can the four of you come up? Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. You are now looking at first and second place. Now, these two teams fought hard, uh, and it was close. So I'm going to just let you know that this, these two families, father and daughter, father and daughter, father and son, um, fought hard, and both of them deserve first place, but we only have one first place. OK, so Mr. Uh, Braun's family came in with a total of 7,900 points. So did Mr. Smith's family came in with 7,900. Now third place done the same. However, with the point system, they are tied. But according to time, our first place winners are Mr. and Mr. Brown. Brown. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, sorry for that. And in second place is the Smith family. All right. By five minutes, five minutes determined between first and second. Points were actually the same. And in first place, the first place winners was round trip tickets, um, courtesy of Mr. David Bascom, and uh, within a round trip ticket to an ISL football game, all inclusive, all expensive paid. Okay, and in second place, okay, let him take a picture. And a well-deserved second place uh, is the Smith family. And the Smith family are are getting two Blu-ray DVDs, so one of them should be for sale. <laughs> All right, that's the Smith family. Second place, well earned. Can everybody just please say happy birthday and happy anniversary to Mr. and Mrs. Parfit. They're both growing old together. They both went the same age. <laughs> and it's the anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.